Two foods I miss most from pre-isolation life. One, a pie at the footy. Two, chicken parma at the pub. Or par me if you're not from Victoria and therefore wrong. A few years ago, I combined these two iconic Australian foods into one gastronomical extravaganza, which is so good this will change your life forever. Here's how you make it. Now you want to use party pies for these, resist the temptation to use a full size 4 and 20, it's just not going to cook all the way through to the centre. Now you're going to crumb these, so you need to make an egg wash. That's where you get an egg, you crack it with one hand because you're a bloody awesome chef or because you're filming on your phone, which is in your other hand. And then you want to add some milk. I'm using skim milk because this is a very healthy dish. Mix that together, that's an egg wash. You get your breadcrumbs, and now you get your thawed party pie, don't frozen, that's not going to cook all the way through. And you want to cover the pie in the egg wash and then chuck it in the breadcrumbs. The point of the egg wash is to give the breadcrumbs something to stick to. I believe the scientific term is emulsifying agent. I'm not sure. I went to a state school and we barely did science. Now that's a pretty good crumbed pie, but this is the secret, folks double crumb. Chuck it back in the egg wash and then chuck it back into the crumbs. That is a secret to a good parmigiana, it's a secret to a good schnitzel, it's a secret to a good anything that you're going to crumb and deep fry. And really, you could get a house brick and deep fry and crumb that and that would taste awesome. Just make sure you wash your hands after this bit because the crumbs are pretty sticky. Next, you want to use a teensy wincy bit of oil, no more than a quarter of the bottle. And you know the oil is hot enough when it does the dance of joy as you put the pimers in, as if the oil has realized that it is part of a meal that you will remember for the rest of your life. And it's feeling the historicness of the occasion. Uh, keep turning them pretty consistently because they can burn in that hot oil. Uh, once things are golden brown like these, you want to take them off and put them on your plate. Then you add your red stuff. Now I've made a passata here. If you don't know how to make a passata, you can absolutely use uh, a jar of store-bought pasta sauce. Just keep it pretty basic. Tomato and onion, tomato and garlic. No fanciness is needed here because there's other flavours coming to play. Next, you want your cheese. Use grated cheese because it melts more consistently. And you can use a combination of cheeses. This is mozzarella, parmesan, and cheddar all together. And you are going to chuck these into your toaster oven. If you don't have a toaster oven, seriously buy one. It is the best kitchen appliance you can get. It does everything that a microwave does, but it's a lot more consistent. Uh, it's good for cooking, reheating. I use mine about three times a day. Seriously, get one. Keep an eye on them though, because they can burn and you want to catch them just as they're getting this golden brown melted cheesiness. And there you go. That is an awesome party pie parmigiana. But if you want to do pimers of the world, you can do the Hawaiian, you can do the Mexican, you can do the Irish, and you can do the American. All of them are going to taste absolutely delicious. And it is just, your arteries will be clogged, sure, but they are going to be clogged with flavour. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you like it. Give it a try. If you've got any questions, hit me up on social media. And if you want me to cook, teach you how to cook something, i got time. I'm in isolation. Uh, let me know. Thanks.